Hey guys, I'm your host, Age of 41, and welcome back to Let's Play Shrek 2. I'm very happy today. Do you know why? I will tell you why. Uh, two new characters got revealed today, even though PAX is tomorrow. They're actually revealing all their characters early, even though... So now we know it's going to be revealed tomorrow. Now, of course, you know two of the four reveals at PAX. Oh no. Two of the three reveals that are going to be at PAX, I think it's three, are, you know one of them, is right from Metal Gear Rising and Solid and crap. Two new characters got to reveal today. One of them was Nariko from Heavenly Sword. Now, I don't give a crap about Raiden. I don't give a crap if about Nariko. So why am I happy? I'll tell you why I'm happy. Sir Daniel Fortescue from Medieval got revealed today. Yes. Out of the leaked characters, he was my most anticipated. Now he's in the game. He looks amazing. I haven't seen much gameplay of him. I've seen a little bit, but... It's still... It looks like Sir Dan. I've yet... I've yet to see him... Uh, spring up to them with my trademark grace, Anila. I've yet to see him take off his arm and beat somebody with it. I hope that's his level one super. Or maybe they that's part of his moveset and they just the person playing as in, in the video didn't use that attack for some reason. I don't know. But he is a character I'm really looking forward to. Now I can't wait for November twentieth, because that's when the game comes out. It would be wise of me to November 20th, you need to come faster so I can get Sir Dan again. Maybe this will be like what they did with Pit in uh, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. You know, nobody had played this game for years, and he'd been in like one game, except Sir Dan's been in two. And then he gets put in the fighting game, and then, people go and then because he's in there, because he's awesome in the fighting game, people go back and play the original games again, and then he gets a new game. If it wasn't for Super Smash Bros. Brawl, I don't think Kid Icarus Uprising would pro probably would have happened if Smash Bros. Brawl hadn't revived interest in Pit. So maybe that's what will happen with Sir Dan. Maybe this will get a Medieval 3 to come out. That's what I'm hoping. So yeah, anyway, we got Puss in Boots here. Not as cool as Sir Dan, but they both use swords, so... Sir Dan is just, I'm just obsessed with that now, I'm so happy. All we need is, now all we need is, uh, Spyro, Crash, Gex, and Ty, and Pyramid Head. Just Spyro, Crash, Gex, Ty, and Pyramid Head. That's all we really need now. I think we might be able to, we might finish the... Oh yeah, stuff comes out if we hit these bright red lockers. Yeah, these guys slide back and forth like penguins. Uh oh. This guy's stupid. That is a good trick. Okay, frogs came out. Whatever. Oh! Out of, out, get away from me, you freaks. Why do you have frowny faces on your face? They look like frown faces, they're probably not. That one has coins. We're gonna tussle. So that's what I want. Filthy. I'm just so happy about Sir Dan being in the game. Oh, I killed that guy in the shower. Cool. The butterflies came out of that one. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't have any potions because I had to restart. If I did my other save file, because I got this far on my other save file, where I found out I wasn't recording, I would have potions because we need one of the uh, potions that shrinks you to get through that hole. You'd think Puss would be able to get through it, but no. Even he's too small. No. Guess we gotta pull it again. Ooh. 
Oh, that was close. Really, what was your first clue? Your cats are supposed to be smart. We got a tip. Two o'clock. I've been wanting a fight all day. Don't hurt him. He's a little kitty cat. Incredible. I'm pretty sure we'll go back through that room where we need the shrink potion. I'm pretty sure at one point we have to go backwards, so... And I think there's a... Uh, shop coming up, so... We should be able to get a shrink potion before we go back. Why do they keep calling me Chimichanga? That doesn't even make any sense. That gets lowered. Time for a smackdown. Hey there. If I can stay off the floor. Do they even notice I'm here? They act like I don't exist. I was gonna have to go through that door and then have to fight them. Better watch out! This cat is dangerous! We got a tabby at 2 o'clock! I've been wanting to fight all day! How do they know what lasers are? I mean, I'm, it look <laughs> From the technology they have in Shrek, it's like it takes place, and they still have like monarchy, so it's like it takes place in medieval times, so how do they have lasers? Or fire jets? Or factories for that matter. Winning is such sweet bliss. Anachroni anachronism stew. That was scary. Elmo works for the fairy godmother now. Emma loves his potions, his cauldrons too, that's Elmo's world. Good, I will use it wisely. How long is to this video? For the greatest humiliation of your life. Coins. That's of course. Okay, here's the potion. You made it. So I think we can finish the uh, fairy godmother place in this video. Just the entire like potion factory. I think we can do it in this video. It's not much longer. Get to the top of the room, get the potion, and then run out the same way you came in. So he's got a backtrack. And then we'll go through that room with the shrinking potion. A room which I've never actually been to before. This you gotta be really careful, or you can fall off a platform easily. Oh, that was close. Yeah. <laughs> got it. Now we gotta run. Oh, now we're donkey. Okay. You feel stupid now? I am good. We set off the alarm. Let's run. He just threw chickens at me. 
Oh, crap. Hey, you get out. How do we get out? Stop running. I hate it when I say it's my tail. Oh, I like it when that happens. Safe and sound. Do I deserve this? Now you'd think this part would be hard because it's like the rising water segment. It because it's really short. It's Don't done. Up here. Come. And then those two workers just got killed by the pink poison. Pink poison, potion of pain. Who do we have to thank for that, Mr. Cobert Ops? Donkey, ease up. We've had enough fighting for one day. It's not like this is a. Beat him up or something. Would be the ideal time to try the happily ever after potion. I guess we'll huh. show this cutscene. You sure you grab the, the right bottle? Of course I in am. In the video. Sure. No, no, no. I mean, you know, what if this makes us all scaly or makes us grow another head out our butts? In your case, it would be an improvement, and we would know the potion worked. Shut up! I'll try it. <sighs> well. Do I seem happier yet? I would try it, senor, but I am already perfection incarnate. Perhaps <laughs> we should stress test it on the donkey. Give it a real workout. Who, who, me? Uh, uh, uh. Scared? Donkeys don't get scared, tuna breath. <laughs> Irritating as ever. Forgive me, senor, we have failed. It didn't work. We annoyed all those elves for nothing. They were elves? I thought they were just short, Perhaps fat a people. plan B will suggest itself after a little beauty rest. And where are we going to stay for the night? A barn lies just on the other side of this forest. What? Barn? Oh, no, no, no. Donkeys don't do barns. We still have a long way to travel. We must make haste, my friends. That is, if the slow mule can keep up. Slow mule? Oh, bring it on, furball. I'd like to see you lose this donkey. I'll race you over the pass. Yeah! Eat my dust, kitty cat! Thanks for waiting up, guys. Oh, well, maybe I'll get a little peace and quiet now. Well, I think it's going to do it for this video, so I'm your host, The Age of 41, signing out. See you next time, and goodbye.